Well, it's two o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm up because I'm streaming the David Ike live at Wembley Stadium event, which is <laughs> an amazing thing. I never thought anything that big would happen in the exopolitics community, but uh, he's now up there with Tina Turner at Wembley. I've just seen something uh, very upsetting. So uh, I'm making a video about it. I just saw something by uh, what looks like to be a uh, university professor, which is uh, definitely old school. Uh, with something called the World Transformational Movement. And uh, unfortunately, I, I wasted some computer space downloading the, uh, the information. And uh, these are two biologists. And it's a biologist explanation of what's wrong with humans. And like all... Um, explanations of what's wrong with humans by biologists they leave out the spiritual aspect and talk only about the intellectual brain and the instinctive functions of the organism uh, I tried to leave uh, some comments but comments are uh, being held for upload or approval which means they don't want anybody raining on their parade so I have to uh, use my own channel <laughs> to rain on their parade. Um, their explanation of what's wrong with people is that uh, there was a schism between the uh, instinctive desires of the organism and the intellectual desires of man and that uh, the intellectual mind was receiving disapproval from the instinctive functions and has created a stress and uh, the intellect uh, didn't want to put up with the stress so put it down to uh, this is something I don't want I became angry and upset about the disapproval until this miraculous moment of 2012 when these two scientists figured this out Um, this is Balderdash, and, uh, <laughs> the true explanation of what's wrong with a people is something that everyone hates, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not a Scientologist, I'm a historian. However, the uh, science that was developed by Ron Hubbard that includes his concept of the reactive mind, uh, the whole track memory of the spirit having a thing in it, which he calls the goals problem mass, which is all the goals you've ever had in all past lifetimes, with the failures to... Uh, realize those goals and a decision to well maybe I'll try to break this work out in some other lifetime and, and you drag it along with you and it's uh, something that contains trillions of years of failure and it's the re-stimulation in your modern life of any of the things that might be in there that cause a bad behavior compounded with uh, electronic implants to make you fail or to make you an evil person that were put in there by uh, I guess you would say uh, for lack of a uh, better term the reptilians and they've been doing this for trillions of years to beings so uh, that is the truth of it that's what's wrong with people and it's not biological upset uh, this is even more upsetting, apparently, to the world, but uh, <laughs> I'd rather have you mad at Ron Hubbard than uh, listening to Balderdash from Australia. 
If you look at this guy, he's, uh, before I say this, I have looked at lots of lectures by um, university professors, and basically they know very, very little, or they know bullshit, and they've developed a way of presenting bullshit so it looks like they're very knowledgeable, and they have a tweed coat and tenure, and they show people in the audience with these rapt faces that are so blank, oh, I don't know anything, and please, great master, let me know what it is. Um, I personally never met anybody that stupid. People are not like that. They may uh, present you with that face, but everyone's actually quite bright and calculating. Anyway, he's got the tweed code and he's at the desk and he's got a rapt uh, audience and uh, it's doing the same thing that the university or one speak uh, party line uh, school of thought and way of controlling people has been mocking things up for the last uh, 300 years. And speaking of the last 300 years, you might want to buy my new uh, or is it DVD series, which is called 300 Years of Angels, or uh, an autographed picture of myself. Uh, these are available at my website, which is called I'm So Smart I Can Hardly Believe It Myself. Anyway, back to the main presentation. So, uh, I felt uh, compelled to do this. It's uh, <laughs> the wrong time for someone to be starting up yet another uh, organization of this type. So since they wouldn't let me talk to them, I'm going to talk about them. Well, it's been my policy for the last three years not to uh, debunk people where this is so blatant and bland. <laughs> I can't let it go by. Um, I was kidding about the, the stuff in the background there, but uh, if not for money and book sales and DVDs and CDs and things, uh, a person of mediocre happenstance seeks uh, admiration as a payment. And, uh, by speaking about something that's uh, unqualifiedly good, like world peace or transformation of man into a higher state, you automatically put yourself uh, on a pedestal or in the uh, the Billy Graham arena. And if you don't know who Billy Graham was, he was. Uh, one of the early television evangelists and had a big success with that the way Elvis did as being one of the first singers to, uh, to bring that kind of music out in mass media. So uh, <laughs> I suggest that these people are uh, motivated by quite ordinary human Uh, desires, which is what they're speaking about, without any actual knowledge, which is something that university professors are really good at. So, fellas, by doing what you've done, you've made me break my own rules. You've made me do a bad thing, but uh, don't worry. It's just because my intellect is upset and it's approval. I'm receiving from my instinctive functions and I, I just can't help it. <laughs>